Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've last made a video and I'm gonna make um, some sort of a morning rush but I'm gonna show you the breeding flocks of this year the first breeding flocks I've already hatched about I believe the fifth breeding round is hatching right now live on YouTube but of course when you see it when you see this video it will be over and I started a new hatching round from the Caldex and there is also the sixth or is it the fifth hatching round that's currently in the incubator for a couple of days now so let me show you the breeding flux the first breeding flux of 2021 Over here we have Jens and his two females. So Jens is from the Livorno Bantam Crosses. He's an F2. Yeah. The two females are from. Those are actually the, the last two of this uh, of this line. They have great combs, great walls. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try from this angle. Nice tails as well. The legs are a little bit short. But they do have some nice black markings on their legs. So let's hope in combination with this rooster that we will hatch some nice chicks. I'm still collecting eggs. I haven't hatched some already. So I can't really show you the chicks. But yeah, I'm hoping for some nice chicks from this from this trio. Now let's head over to the main flock. In the front, yeah, this is actually the run for the chicks. We have a mixture of wino bantams and Kona bantams. My Italian bantam rooster is also running around somewhere over here. The Caldux are over here. And I see that Whitaker is in the green oasis. I still don't know how she gets in. But she doesn't know how to get out, so I'm gonna need to help her. Crazy with the cat. Then over here we have the large anconas. I've added the young animals as well. So we have three roosters and about da, 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 six hands. Yeah, three roosters and six hands. So far I've only found eggs from the two blue hens, so the single comb hen over here and the rose comb hen over there. She's not the greatest in, she's not the greatest in color, but we'll see what we can get. I like this one, her color, but she's uh, they're getting old. These two ladies are very old. The rooster is getting old. I like this rooster over here. But he's still young. I think he will grow a little bit more. And yeah, the hands actually I like the single comb blue mottled hand. And this hand over here in the back. Those two I like the most. So I think I'm gonna keep those three as a trio and get rid of all the others. And preferably I would get some new ones in Germany. There is a breeder of Italianers, black modeled, over there, and he, or actually she, got, um, I believe, two or more roosters and eight hands for me. But yeah, due to Corona, we're not, we're not allowed to cross the border, so I don't know how we're gonna fix that. We'll see. Maybe I can arrange some transport. 
Who knows? So far I have two chicks uh, in the hatching round that's hatching life right now. But hopefully we can get some more. The next breeding flock hasn't changed until last year actually. So we have our black mold and conobentum rooster over here. With great my, still my best rooster. With his five Livorno Bantam crosses. Three black ones, two blue ones. They are now three or four years old, but they are still laying great. And producing some good hatching eggs. So why not? They produced some nice offspring last year. So I'm gonna hatch some chicks. Or I'm actually already hatching some chicks from these from this flock again this year. <laughs> On to the new a new hatching or a new Let's go on to a new breeding flock. Oh, my spring just got loose. I have to figure out a better system. It's not the greatest. So what do we have over here? Two uh, wheat mottled hens and one red mottled. Where is she? Oh, over there. But yeah, as you can see the red is not that red. So I've added a nice, actually my favorite red rooster. If he wants to show himself today. Great comb, great waters, great earlobes, nice legs, good color. I would have preferred him a little bit more red in his tail, but he does have some red in his tail. And he carries models, so let's hope we get some nice model chicks from this one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. The other hand is laying an egg. Over here we have the rose comb flock. I've got one rooster. This is my favorite one from last year. Three blue mottled hens and three or four? No, I think three. No, four, actually, four, yeah. Four black mottled hens. But as you can see, we still have our red mottled single comb rooster over here, and he's the boss of the flock, so I can't collect eggs. We won't have pure blue and black mottled hens. He's actually the grandfather of the rooster that he's trying to fight with now. But I'm gonna get rid of him. I found a new breeder that wants to breed Anconas and Ancona Bantams. So hopefully he wants them. I'll give him a red hen as well. So he can start breeding and helping me with the red mottled. And of course the blue and black mottled Anconas and Ancona Bantams. are over there in the corner. I'm not gonna breed with the Muscovies. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit afraid that they will be too much inbred since I have brother, sister and mother. So I will either have eggs from 
son and mother or brother and sister and there's not a lot of demand for Muscovy ducks and I either don't want more than to reach so there's no reason to breed them over here we have a breeding flock that I already have some chicks from and they are really, really nice chicks we have a black mottled rooster with three black mottled hens in terms of markings these are my three best hens and this rooster I really like him because he has a long tail and he actually came from the rose comb flock so both of his parents were rose combs but they also produce some nice single combs but he will be picked up as well this weekend It will be a great addition to a new breeding flock somewhere else in Belgium. The chicks look nice so far, so we'll see how they will turn out. Hopefully we'll have a better sun from this guy. And then we can make a nice breeding flock next year. And over here we also have Kali and Fatih. Just two, yeah, how would you call them? Cuddle chickens. <laughs> Let's head over to the next breeding flock. My personal favorite breeding flock and the first one that I've hatched chicks from. And it will be probably the favorite breeding flock of many people. And that's the red model breeding flock. So this rooster is the son of the red model rooster that's currently together with the rose corn chicks, uh, chickens. He's the father of the the other red rooster. He has five hands, I believe. All are red, and they carry models. They came from the Wheaton and Red Model Pants with my red Italianer Bantam rooster. They are really nice hands. Great heads. Great type. Good coloring as well. Nice. And I also want to hatch out some eggs from this golden pheasant couple. So my yellow male with his wild type female, the pure wild type 5000, mainly because I want some wild type hens for myself and I've also got the question uh, from somebody that wants a wild type male. So let's hope we get some nice red model chicks from this breeding flock. Let's head on to the next breeding flock. The last one of the first breeding flocks from this year. And I'm also currently hatching some chicks from these guys. So we have the brother of Jens actually, also an F2 from the Livorno Bantam Crosses with five done modeled Why Not Bantam. And the main reason for this crossing is because I want to create um, because I want to create done modeled and Kona Bantams. I really like this hen over here, and I believe the fifth, and I believe the fifth one is laying an egg right now. She's a bit slender, so that's actually quite good for my Ancona Bandit project. The rooster is also a very nice one. I'm gonna keep him. I might put him against some other hens, some pure Ancona Bantams later on in the year. And then I'll put my Dunmetal and Windled Bantam Rooster over here. And I can collect some pure chicks as well. Maybe I'll keep a Kaki Dunmetal. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, and otherwise, they will be just for will be just sold.
And those were the first breeding flocks of this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna make a video about the chicks and I have some other videos planned as well. So make sure you're subscribed. Like the video, if you like the video of course. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.